Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pella, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out this morning with a scripture reading from Romans chapter 12, verses 1 through 21. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you may discern what is the will of God, and what is good and acceptable and perfect. For by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of yourself more highly than you ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body we have many members, and not all the members have the same function, so we, who are many, are one body in Christ, and individually we are members one of another. We have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, prophecy in proportion to faith, ministry and ministering, the teacher and teaching, the exhorter and exhortation, the giver and generosity, the leader and diligence, the compassionate and cheerfulness. Let love be genuine, hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good, love one another with mutual affection, outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal, be ardent in spirit, serve the Lord, rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer, contribute to the needs of the saints, extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another and do not be haughty, but... Associate with the lowly, do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave room for the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. No. If your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. For by doing this, you will heap burning coals on their heads. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Please join me now in a time of prayer together. Almighty God, you fill all things with your presence. In your great love, keep us near you this day and to put our trust in you, Lord. Grant that in all our ways and doings we may remember that you see us and may always have grace to know and perceive what things you would have us do and give us strength to do the same. Help us to help our brothers and sisters today that may come into harm's way. Help give those that are struggling direction so they may better their lives. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. I have to see you here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a great day today.